We're learning how to write personal narratives right now. I made a poster to help us on how to write personal narratives. On Wednesday, I gave you guys some homework to tell me a personal narrative, right? A personal narrative is a story about you, something that really happened to you or something that you really did, okay? I told you guys about my birthday. And some of you recorded telling me about what you did during the day. Some of you went out with your mom. Some of you stayed home, okay? This is going to help us when we start writing those words down. Some of your narratives were amazing, telling me lots of details, but they were very long, right? And that's what I wanted. I wanted you to tell me about everything you did that day. When you think about everything that you did, we're going to pick one small thing to write about, okay? The first picture up here is the magnifying glass. The magnifying glass is something that we use when we want to see something really close or we want to see all the details on something, right? So like with a magnifying glass, you're going to focus on one small moment. So you're going to pick something small in your story. I told you guys about my birthday, about how I woke up and I did all these things and I had lunch with my family and then I blew out my candles on my cake and then I opened presents. Do you remember that? Well, it's a lot of words if I tell you that whole story. So I'm just going to focus on one small moment. I think I'm going to pick the part where my family sang happy birthday to me and I got to blow out the candles because that's really fun to me. Next, it says one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. That stands for the beginning, the middle, and the end. Okay, beginning, middle, and end. The words right here in the middle, it says beginning, middle, and end. So I got to think of a story because, like I said, if you just say I blew out my birthday cake candles, then that's the end. The end. That's kind of boring, right? We got to pick the beginning of the story, the middle of the story, and the end of the story. First, I sat down at my ta at the table, and then my mom brought me the cake, and then we put the candles on the cake, and then we put we lit the candles on fire, and then my family sang happy birthday to me. I blew out the candles. The end. Okay. So the beginning of the story is my mom bringing the cake. The middle of the story is when we put lit the candles on the cake and they sang happy birthday to me and then the end of the story we eat the cake okay so the beginning and the middle and the end the words over here on the on the far right side those are some words that you can use in your writing okay back up here by the magnifying glass it says focus on a small moment about yourself so those words you can read those this is i me and my so i what happened to you right the one two three words it says first and then it says next and then it says last. So first, my mom brought me my, my cake. Next, we put candles on the cake and we lit them on fire and they sang happy birthday. Last, we ate the cake. Okay, so that's three things, beginning, middle, and end. Okay, the next picture is the eyes, right? It says describe the people and the places and the things. Describe is when you tell us what they look like, right? It says looks, over here, looks, smells, feels, tastes, and sounds. So if I was eating the cake, I'm going to tell you what it tastes like, right? Maybe I can smell the candles burning and I can see what colors they are, right? So, let's see. If I tell my story again, first, my mom brought me my beautiful white cake. Next, we lit the candles and I could smell the fire burning. Last, we ate the cake and it was so yummy. Okay, so I'm telling you what it tastes like, I'm telling you what it looks like, and I'm telling you what I smell, right? Maybe if I heard something, I can I could hear them sing happy birthday to me, okay? Last, well not last, second to last, we see these two faces. One is happy and one is sad. I'm sorry, you can't see the pink letters very well. I'll go over that with a dark color next time. It says, tell how you feel. How did that make you feel? How do you think I felt when my family sang happy birthday to me? I felt very happy, right? I was like, wow, this is so cool. It's my birthday and you're singing happy birthday to me and you got me a cake. That makes me so happy, right? Then over here, it has some words that you can use. And again, I'll go over that with a darker marker and I'll post a picture so you guys can see it. But it says happy, sad, scared, excited, mad. Maybe something happened that made you really mad, okay? And then last, this picture right here is this talking bubble, okay? And it says, I love writing. Use dialogue. Dialogue is a fancy word for what are the people saying in your story. So if you went to the park with your mom and you said, Mom, can I go play in the swings? And my mom said, yeah, right? For my story, and they sang happy birthday to me, right? Or my mom might say, here you go, Miss Koo. Here's your cake, right? And then over here, it says said 
and shouted. So we know said, that's one of our sight words. Shouted, you could be like, and then my family shouted at me, you know, if they're yelling at you. So you can use words to describe how they're talking, okay? I have this poster right here. I'm going to take a picture of it and I'm going to share it with you guys, okay? So you guys can start thinking about it. Next week, I'm going to show you how I'm going to write my story about my birthday using this poster.